Hey everybody, Andrew Hogue here, your security, privacy, and forensics expert with a mobile security update. Late last week, the NSA released a best practice for securing your home network. While I was taking a look at that, I actually found in the alternative resources section, they actually have a mobile devices best practices that I thought might be interesting for folks following these posts. If you go out and take a look, you can see a full set of their advisories out on their website. And there's some really good ones out here if you're heavily focused on security. I've linked out to the press release about securing your home network, but I also wanted to just quickly show folks the document in case you didn't want to download it directly from them. There are a lot of great best practices in here that explain not only what to do, but why you should do them. And if you choose not to download the PDF, I've included a list of each of the recommendations on my blog, just so you can check them out. Late last week, the Wall Street Journal released an article that's catching people's attention about how thieves are shoulder surfing, checking out people's passcodes, stealing the device, and then locking them out of it. Once they've done that, they're able to basically do a complete takeover of your digital life, and that's obviously a big issue. So let's take a quick look at the best practices. It's really just a two-page document. Generally speaking, mobile networks are really fast today, so try not to connect to public Wi-Fi networks if you can help it. Also, as we already mentioned, be careful about your passcode. If you have a simple passcode and people are able to see it, they could easily circumvent the security of your device, which is why I actually use biometrics. I think biometrics combined with a strong passcode are a great way to secure the data on your device. Also, be really careful about clicking on links in text messages because that's a common technique for device takeover or phishing attacks. And I always use only a trusted accessory, which is basically my own charging cord. And I never plug it into another computer. I always plug it into an outlet. So a lot of these recommendations are pretty straightforward, but it's always great to just have a reminder on best practices you can follow to secure that mobile device and those mobile apps, which are increasingly the skeleton key to your life. Thanks so much for watching.